Prophet Ibrahim saw his dua manifest into reality when he met the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on the night of the journey of the Isra and Maraj. And he saw the result of his dua to be generations of Muslims who call upon their Lord. The power of dua is something we often forget to do or do not stress quite enough. It's oftentimes left until the end when we've exhausted what our hands and minds can do. But Allah tells us that the gift of dua that he's given us is an uninterrupted line of connection between us and our creator, the king, the planner of all of our affairs. We see over and over again in the Qur'an that the prophets using dua first and foremost to settle their affairs and deal with the tribulations that they have very little control over. The dua of Prophet Ibrahim after he left his wife Sayyidah Hajar and their unborn child, Prophet Ismail, in the desert, is a display of devotion, but also immense tawakkul. In that moment, we know that there was not an easy task for Prophet Ibrahim. After many years of asking for a child, he must now walk away from the child and leave behind his family in an empty, barren land to answer the command of Allah. Prophet Ibrahim makes the dua, رَبَّنَا إِنِّي أَسْكَنْتُ مِنْ ذُرِّيَّتِي بِوَادٍ غَيْرَ ذِي زَرَعْ عِنْدَ بَيْتِكَ الْمُحَرَّمْ رَبَّنَا لِيُقِيمُ الصَّلَاةِ فَاجْعَلْ أَفْئِدَةً مِنَ النَّاسِ تَهْوِي إِلَيْهِمْ وَارْزُقْهُمْ مِنَ الثَّمَرَاتِ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَشْكُرُونَ Our Lord, I have settled some of my offspring in a barren valley near your sacred house. Our Lord, so they may establish prayer. So make the hearts of the believing people incline towards them and provide them with fruits, so perhaps they will be thankful. And so Allah takes care of Sayyidah Hajar, eases her delivery, and blesses Prophet Ibrahim's progeny. And from his progeny comes the best of all of mankind, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Utilize the resources Allah has given you. The potency of dua is hard to fully grasp, but those who have unlocked this door have allowed for a door of mercy and gentleness to envelop their trials and equip them with a resilience beyond measure. Please continue to join us and support us for Madistan's Embracing Resilience series, where we are delving into the stories of the trials and tribulations mentioned in the Qur'an, and through them, building a better understanding of what we can do when we find ourselves faced with trials and tribulations of our own.